today we today we have a fun topic. In this first section, we're going to talk about reduplication of adjectives. And reduplication is one of the fun one of the fun uh, expressive parts of Chinese. Uh, reduplicating different parts of speech actually has a different effect. Uh, for example, when you reduplicate, we've learned about this, these things before. When you reduplicate verbs, it means that it creates a casual tone, or just means like for a short time, like go like kanka, come over and see see. It's like go like kanka. Now just take a minute, or like have a have a have a look. It makes a casual tone. We also talked about re reduplicating measure words, which there's not a ton of these. Um, but it, it, when you reduplicate measure words, it means all of the noun that measure word is talking about. So if you say, ge ge dou hen gao xing, ge ge means, it means every person. If I say, ben ben dou hao kan, it means every book. If I say, tian tian dou qu shang xue, I go to school every day, the tian tian means every day. Tian tian is actually a measure word. Reduplicated, it means... Um, it means every day. So reduplicating a measure word means all of the, the noun that that measure word would be describing. <clears throat> and now, now we're going to talk about reduplication of adjectives. Uh, what does it look like? What does it do? I'll give a quote from All Set Learning. It said, reduplication, meaning a reduplication of adjectives, can enhance the descriptive feeling of an adjective. It just makes it feel more descriptive. Now, often, it tends to an express an appreciative, I like this attitude, for example, or, you know, I like it this way. Um, he's like, he's so tall and handsome. Ta gao gao shuai shuai. So I, I read, I said, tall, tall, shuai shuai. He's tall, tall and shuai shuai. Um, shuai means uh, tall and uh, shuai, uh, handsome. So <clears throat> it, like the person is appreciating, what, like, whoa, he's so tall and handsome. But it's not always that. It's not always a positive feeling. It, but it, at the very least, it, it, it enhances the descriptive feeling of the adjective. Now, um, a couple of thoughts about it. Well, let me first let's describe it. So if it's a single adjective word, it's a a da. That means like if it's tall and you want to say, so you add da at the end of it. I need to point out that this da is, has, is, is one of those different functions of da than the one we just talked about in the previous video. It is not saying that it is not marking an adjective um, because <clears throat> usually this is in the form of like if I say he's he's so tall ta gao gao de. Uh, it, it would be the same like grammar wise in the basic fun grammar of the sentence of saying ta han gao it just makes it more descriptive so there's no need for a da in ta han gao there's also no need for a da that kind of da to mark an adjective da here, the da is, is making, it's just there to, it's part of this phrase to make it see, sound more descriptive. It's how the, this reduplication of adjectives works. It, it gives it more, it's like, kind of like an exclamation point sort of thing, and it enhances the descriptiveness. So it's gal gal da. If it's a two-syllable adjective, then it's a-a-b-b. -B. That means that the, you know, like if, if the adjective is, um, Ruching, meaning uh, meaning warm and friendly uh, or hospitable. The 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 it would be ru ru ching ching. That makes sense rather than ru ching ru ching. It's ru ru ching ching with a duh after it. Okay. So and another thing is this cannot be negated. You can't say someone is not gao gao da. Ta bu gao gao da. It it doesn't work that way because the phrase itself is is um. It's like, it's like, a, it's a descriptive way to say something. It's not a descriptive, it's not a way to say something is not descriptive, if that makes sense. Okay, we'll go on with the, all of these are from All Set Learning. Uh, I wanted to make sure that, and I, and I gave a, a number of examples to illustrate different ways this thing works. And I'll go through them one by one. This is the most basic one. It's just the A, A, da. Ba, ba, de, yan, jing, da, da, da. So this is describing a baby's um, eyes. The baby's eyes. Jing, da da da. Oh, they're so big. The baby's eyes are big. Jing, da da da. So that's great. Uh, you you will probably hear that exact sentence in in real life. Um, top. Here we have a one, and 
This one is interesting, and I'll explain why. Ta baba gao gao pang pang de. Her dad is tall and fat, or probably stocky, is the point. Ta baba gao gao pang pang de. So here we have. You know, it looks like this. A a b b right. Gao gao pang pang de. But what's different here is these are two separate adjectives, not one. Like there's not an adjective called that that says gao pang. Uh, it's he is he is. Tall and stocky, not like tall stocky. So <laughs> tall stocky, Kawasaki, gao gao pang pang. So, um, but there's no need to put another duh after gao gao. You don't have to say gao gao. You could, you could. It was not wrong. Ta gao gao da pang pang da kai. But there's no need to. They just combined it into, uh, to, to so you know, into one kind of unit. Ta ba ba gao gao pang pang da. So I wanted, that's a good example because it shows how that can work. Now we're going to go down to um, showing a, an actual two-syllable uh, adjective. Pati, that's, a, that's a, a transliterated way to say party. Pati, ruo ruo nao nao de, zhen hao wan. Ruo nao means, um, it means like boisterous, um, act, uh, how would you say it in English? The party had a lot going on. It was like, woohoo, run out. Lots, lots of noise, lots of, um, uh, I can't think of the right adjective for that, but I hope you get the idea. Party, ru, ru, nao, nao de. It, it was, it had a lot going on. It was loud and, and fun and a lot going on. Party, ru, ru, nao, nao de. So there we have the A-A-B-B, zhen hao wan. So you see the difference between this and this? This is two separate one-syllable adjectives kind of combined into that 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 uh, structure, and this is actually a a two syllable adjective that was split into the aabb structure. So uh, that's kind of fun. And then here we have another sort of different thing. This is also a two syllable adjective put into the aabb structure. Ni mama xin xin ku ku de zuo le liang ge xiao shi de fan. Ni zi ni zi me bu chi. Is that how it goes? This is from All Set Learning. I want to make sure I uh, need some butcher. Yeah, there we go. I, I didn't write that last part. Um, so let's break this down a little bit. The basic sentence is um, Mama Zola Lianga Xiao Shi de Fan. So Mama Zola Fan. Mama cooked food. What kind of food? Lianga Xiao Shi de. That two hours of food. So this is um, a duration phrase talking about how long it took her to cook the food, how long she cooked the food. And then we have an adjective describing how she, she did it. It is xin xin ku ku de. So xin ku means like with like sweat, sweat, blood, and tears. It's like, it's uh, lots of hard work. Mama de, uh, ma, ni mama xin xin ku ku. So here we have the A-A-B-B, xin xin ku ku. What I wanted to point out is that this de, it sounds exactly the same as this de, and I think it has a lot of the same function, right? but it is it is the adjective da because it's describing zuo. So even though it sounds the same and it has the same feeling of a descriptive way to say this, um, it actually is a different da than this da up here because it's it's functioning as an adjective. So that's kind of fun. And then one other thing to point out is that um, the when you do the same thing, reduplicating an adjective, but the adjective is functioning as a verb, which can happen. And I'll give you an example. Um, then it's no longer the it's no longer the AA structure, or the, it's no longer the AABB structure. It's ABAB, and because that's how you reduplicate verbs. Like if you have a verb like, um, uh, ooh, I need to think of a. Um, I'm blanking on an action that's two syllables right now. Uh, I'll have to, if it comes to me, I'll let you know. But if you have a verb that's two syllables and you redu reduplicate it, um, dasao, dasao, there we go, that'll work. Dasao, it means to sweep. If you want to say, give it a, give it a sweep, dasao, dasao, then you, you don't say da, da, sao, sao when you're talking about a verb. You do uh, dasao, dasao. So when, uh, when, when this when you duplicate, reduplicate an adjective that's functioning as a verb, then you drop the duh and you do A, B, A, B. Here's an example. 
，来，卡吗 ？So come， 喝点酒 ，drink some some、uh, some beer or whatever whatever kind of alcoholic drink we're talking about here。来，喝点酒 ，drink some some beer， 高兴高兴。So this is happy happy。I didn't write it in pinyin twice because I ran out of room。This is from Offset Learning。高兴高兴。So happy happy。And so, it it means in this case, its function is a verb. It means to make yourself happy, or to become happy, or you know, to to be involved in happiness, like to 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 happy happy. It's but its function is a verb. It means to to be happy or make yourself happy. So, 来喝点酒，高兴高兴。So come drink some some alcohol and be happy happy. Makes sense. So we're not saying 高高兴兴的 We're saying 高兴高兴 So that's a lot.、Um, splitting some hairs along the way, but it, I don't know if you'll remember all this. The thing that you really need to remember is this. You know, if you want to make an adjective into this more descriptive way of saying it, this is how you do it. That's the main point. But I just wanted to show how it can play out in real, in you know, in in with different、um, aspects going on. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hi. Here I want to talk about a very simple point: is that "han," meaning "very," can come before some verbs, and the reason it's important to to point this out is that in English we don't do this. In order to、um, intensify a verb, we don't put "very" in front of it. We don't say "I very love you." We might say "I really love you," and we might say "I love you very much," but we don't say "I very love you."、It、means the same thing, but we don't say it that way. In Chinese, han can come before psychological verbs and for before、um, a couple of auxiliary verbs. So,、um, let me give you some examples. Xiang.、Uh, this is this is this list is from All Set Learning. Xiang to think or want to miss. Xihuan to like. Xiaoxin to be careful. Pa to be afraid. Han pa to be to to very afraid.、Uh, I, I very fear this. I fear this. I very fear. I don't. I don't think we say that. 了解 to know a lot about or to learn about something. 讨厌 to hate something or you know really dislike something. 担心 to worry about something. 希望 to hope for something. Also, 会 and 能会 is、um, it, it means to be able to do something,、uh, to know how to do something. 能 is to have the ability to do something or something is possible. So those are some auxiliary verbs. Let me just give you a couple examples. 我很想去中国 I very want to go to China. 我很讨厌跑步 I very hate running. That's not true. I love running, but this is a little nod to those those, those many people in the world who who really can't stand running. And then 他很会做生意 He very is able knows how to do business. 他很会做生意 So there you have it. 很 can go before some verbs. And it's just important to point. It's not a complex thing. It's just important to point out because some、uh, because we don't do it in English, and so it's it's a little, it sounds intuitive. We do we do the same idea. We, like we do the intensify these verbs. We just use really instead of very.、Uh, but in Chinese, you can say very as well as really. That's Jun. Anyway, there you go.